I posted this eye look on Facebook the other day and asked you guys if you wanted a tutorial and you did so I filmed it for you today aren't you so excited so I'm only doing my eye makeup today because I did my face makeup earlier so let's get started so I'm starting off today I'm going to prime using my Urban Decay primer potion in the original formula and I'm just going to pat that in using my ring finger all over my eyelid and just make sure that it's covering the whole eyelid to make sure that all the shadows that you're going to be using are going to blend easily on top of it. After that, I'm going to go in with my Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take the lightest shade, matte shade in the palette and I'm gonna use that in an E30 by Morphe and just um, put that all over the primer just to set it down and it will help the other shadows that I'm gonna put on top of it blend a lot easier. And just use whatever shade is closest to your skin tone. And then I'm going to go in to that same palette and take the lightest or the second to lightest matte brown shade in an E17 by Morphe. And I'm going to start by defining that outer V and just very slightly um, moving through the entire crease. I'm going to focus the majority of the product on the outer V and then slowly work my way into the inner corner of the eye. And so once that's done, I'm going to take a darker brown and do the same thing, but keeping it even more in the crease and, or more in the outer V and less in the crease. And this is just going to add more definition and um, more shape to the eye for the finished product. So after that, I'm going to take my NYX Ultra Pearl Mania and my 103 by BH Cosmetics. The NYX shadow is in the shade Nude, and I'm going to spray that with some MAC Fix Plus, and this uh, I'm just gonna take and pat all over my eyelid, keeping it below the crease, and this is going to really lighten up the look and create the extra dimension and contrast between the crease that we just did and the rest of the eyelid. And it's gonna kind of be like a cut crease kind of a feel, but not really. Just, just kind of a cut crease. A little bit of a cut crease. Yeah, just a little bit. After that, I'm going to be taking my same palette again in that darkest brown shade and my 105 by BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to be, again, adding more dimension to that outer crease and just really defining the shape of the outer eye not the outer crease, the outer eye and the outer V area of the eye. So just adding dimension into there and building up that color and the pigment out there just to make it more sultry. And then we're gonna go in with liner. For liner today, I'm using the Maybelline uh, eye, eye Studio just in the shade black. And I'm going to be taking a 107 by BH Cosmetics. It's one of my favorite uh, angled eyeliner brushes that I own and I'm just gonna be taking that and doing a wing with that. And boom, just kidding. No, I'm just winging it out um, and I'm only going to take the wing about halfway through to like the, the pupil of my eye. I'm not gonna take it all the way into the inner corner and this is just gonna make the eyes look bigger and more open and it's gonna really, I don't know, complete the look because with the lighter contrasting uh, pigment on the inner corner and the darker colors on the outer, it just made more sense to me to keep it light on the inner corner. After that, we're going to take a flat definer brush by e.l.f. And I'm just going to take that darkest brown shadow in the palette. And I'm just going to be smudging that on my lower lash line. And I'm going to take it all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner. I'm going to take it across the entire lower lash line and just smudge it as close as I can to that lash line. And this is just going to really shape out the lower uh, lash line and shape out the lower half of your eye. I will also be taking the black from the palette and I will be keeping that on like the outer half, outer third of the eye and just using that to keep it on the outer part and add more definition to the eye. Oh 
whole kid okay and then I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone using the lightest shimmer shade in the palette and just gently patting that with my finger on the brow bone and then uh, just blending it out with a, a clean finger just to really highlight and bring the whole look together next we're gonna curl our lashes this is just a Revlon lash curler and you know the drill don't poke your eye out don't pinch your skin because that hurts really bad just make sure that you're curling your lashes, make them touch the ceiling. I mean, if your lashes are that long, that's awesome. Mine are not, so I just curl it, pulse it a few times to get those lashes curled. And then I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, and I'm going to be using that and just coating my lashes with that. So just one, two, three, four, 10, 20 coats of mascara. You know how it is. You get a little carried away sometimes. Yes, coat those lashes. Prepare them for the coming winter. Yeah, put a nice coat on. Next, I'm going to be using a Victoria's Secret lipstick. I don't know the shade, I forgot to grab it. I will put it in the description box below and I'm just gonna be using a lip brush by e.l.f. I'm going to be painting this onto my lips the reason why I'm not just using it from the tube is because that lipstick was like a flat. There was no way I was going to get a sharp edge on my lipstick with that. So I'm just applying that all over my lips. I'm overlining just a little bit just, just to make my lips look a little bit more full and more pouty. And once they are perfect, that's pretty much it the entire look yes yes do you like it do you like it I think I really like this look because it is so simple and so easy to do it it literally takes me maybe 15 20 minutes in the morning um, and I can wear it to work I can wear it out at night I can wear it on a daily basis it's not a hard look to achieve and that's one of the things that I like about it so much Okay, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I love having you guys here. Sorry it's been such a long time since I've had a video go up. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave. Like this video. Leave a comment in the description box down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!